I think the one question, AJ, I have going into this fight is, has Anthony Joshua changed as a fighter? Has Andy Ruiz changed you and made you perhaps permanently more of a guarded fighter, a guy that fights even more off the jab? Or are you still the guy that, you know, when he sees somebody hurt, he's a seek and destroy type of fighter, a 90% plus knockout rate type of guy. Has Andy Ruiz changed you? Physically, he hasn't changed me. I still carry and possess the powers. I feel like technically wise, he's, he's improved me. He's changed me for the better. He changed my mental focus as well about what this really means because I was that guy that just coming to the boxing gym three years later, I was Olympic champion. When I turned pro three years later, I was world champion. So I didn't even really embrace what I was doing. And then I get to see Andy Ruiz living life over in America and Mexico. I was like, wow, that's what it means to be champion. So he definitely changed me for the better. But what he's done, he made me realize there's two different things. There's what we call defining performances and there's defining fights. So I feel like when I boxed Andy Ruiz in Saudi, it wasn't a defining fight, but it was a defining performance. I had to go out there and I had to put on a spectacular performance, which was sticking to my game plan to win. So with Pulev, the defining point performance does include power punches and earning his respect. So yeah, I definitely still possess that killer instinct and that, um, gladiator mindset for sure. I haven't lost that. 